Here are two ways to interact with HBase with Hue and using Web Console or SSH. We will try both the ways to interact HBase. Let us first try with Hue. Log into Hue. Click on Data Browsers and then click HBase. By default, it lists all of the tables in HBase. You can click on any table to see what's inside. In this example, we have clicked on a table 2007-2016 test. It is listing 10 rows. The first row has two columns, C3 and C2, which are inside the column family CF1, having cell values as product2 and product1 respectively. Now, let's go back and try to create a table with the name as your login name. Click on new table and provide your login name as table name. In this table, let's create two column families, contents and anchors. We can also define how many versions per column family we need because the versions of each cell can be defined on a column family level. We can also define other properties of column family such as should the compression be enabled, should the column family's data be kept in memory, what kind of bloom filter should be enabled on column family, should block cache be enabled and how much should the time to live be. We are not specifying any properties in this example. We are just going ahead with the default values. Now click on submit. The table would have been created. Let's check by searching. You can see that table is now created. Let's open it by clicking on it. Now let us add some data into it. We will add three rows as shown in the figure. Please notice that we are using column family, colon, column name to specify the fully qualified name of the column or we also call it column qualifier. For HTML content, the column name is empty. Therefore, the fully qualified name of the column or column qualifier is contents colon. The first row has been added. Let us add second row. Now, let us finish adding the third row. Now, we have successfully created table from our example using hue.